Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, July 12th, around 11 p.m. Mountain Time 2021. The good news is moisture is coming to the Four Corners region, including Utah and Arizona, but no substantial moisture to the entire West Coast for weeks. But the big story, smoke will make you choke. And we mean smoke over the entire western portion of the U.S. Take a look at the forecast models, central Wyoming. Hello, you're buried in it. Well, or you're covered in smoke or whatever you say. Keep calm. It's smoke time. Heat wave roasts the west as wildfires explode in size. New computer. Trying to get out the kink. Satellite image showing smoke plumes from the wildfires erupting in California, Oregon, and Washington, Idaho, and other states, as well as southern British Columbia on Sunday, June 11th. And the smoke map, well, it'll choke you out. Take a look at some of the smoke coming across the border here from this fire up in B.C. And smoke pushing all the way into Iowa and the central Craton here. Absolutely fantastical. Wow, that's new. So we're trying to work out the kinks. Stick with us and keep calm. The latest in a series of severe heat waves to affect the West continues Monday, although conditions are not expected to be quite as extreme as they were during the weekend. And we'll get to that. Yes, a break in the Western heat is coming. And we're not bumming. By the numbers, another series of strong high-pressure areas, colloquially known as heat domes, has set up across the West. While not quite as strong as the event late in June and early July, it still has led to record shattering temperatures, but they are literally milking this for all they can. We'll get to that. Insurance companies prepare for thousands of claims after a hailstorm. Wait till you see this. And we do have some of the data up here. Large hail batters, Des Moines metro area. Take a look at that three-inch hair. Hail pellets, Alliance, Nebraska, as weather service warns of baseball size hail. And parts of Prescott hit with wind, rain, and even golf ball size hail. We're looking at the interactive hail report for Friday, July 9th, and there's no wonder Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, South Dakota, 156,615 hail events in the single day, one to one and a half inches. 22,557 events, 1.75 to 2.25 inches. And 2,394 events of hail larger than 2.5 inches in a single day. Holy macaboomy, Roly. Holy. Wow. Did I read that correctly? Yes. 181,566 reports in a single day in the U.S. above one inch. 30% of Mount Rainier snowpack melted off during historic heat wave. See before and after. Now, the only problem is... <laughs> Um, it was a record snowpack. To give you an idea, according to the Northwest Avalanche Center, in early June, we had over 110 inches of snow up at Paradise, 5,400 feet above sea level. Over the month, the snow started to melt. And now, thanks to part of those days in triple digits, the data shows the snow is all gone. Oh. Hmm. Well, it was actually quite a bit of snow for late early June. Then it all just melted out with a heat wave. It's all gone now. Snyder says the historic heat wave contributed to a loss of a massive melt. It happens throughout the summer, not just over a few days. The only difference is, and I think they've removed it from the, the article already, that it was a record snowpack leading into this melt-off. This is normal looking for this time of year, and they're just fear-mongering. Right in your face. Now, a break in the Western heat is coming, and they will not be able to fear monger as the entire rest of the country is below normal. It's only hot in the West. Hot temperatures will begin to shift eastward mid late this week, giving the Western areas a break. Summer storms and locally heavy rain can be expected from the monsoon in the Southwest. Hello, we need it. A weak boundary in the Northeast and new systems spreading from Canada into the plains. Primary threat for many severe storms will be largely hail. And damaging winds, large hail, and the precipitation forecast is looking fantastic. Here it is through July 28th, and it is looking like a 
quite a nice four corners respite, but no rain at all for Washington state, most of Oregon and almost all of California, except for the central mountains there in the Sierras. It's about it. UCLA study shows human influence on heavy rain and snow since the 1980s. The only problem is it's incorrect. <laughs> Let's just look at the study. The intensification of extreme precipitation under anthropogenic forcing is robustly projected by global climate models, but highly challenged to detect in the observational record. Large internal variability distorts this anthropogenic signal. So what do the headlines mean? That the UCLA study shows that human influence may not have anything to do with heavy rain. And Diamond's going to show you that it has everything to do with cosmic rays. Here's cosmic rays since 1960, and they have been increasing since the 80s. Cosmic ray maximum in 85, 97, and boom, 2010. And cosmic rays nucleate clouds create more rain and bigger hail. And here's the reconstruction since 1850, showing you that cosmic rays directly correlate to temperature. I bet you can't, haven't seen this graph because it's been completely erased from all of the interwebs. Here we have the graph from Canova and Solanke, 2003. Now, cosmic rays have reached a new maximum even further up since the 2010 spike now in 2019 and 2020. A new modern maximum of cosmic rays. And that would explain, well, heavy rain and snow and record hail has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the sun. Hello. I just put it down. Did you pick it up? Extreme cold and heavy snow to smash South Africa. The year without a summer by John Maunder. What a bummer. Thanks, Cap Allon. Another major Antarctic front will make landfall in Southern Africa today, Monday. July 12th, gale force winds, extreme cold, heavy snow, highways, and torrential rains are all forecast. Now, have you seen Greenland? Still above the multi-decadal average. Quite spectacular, and it's taken quite a bit to load. What a toad. Record-breaking night temperatures. What can America's extreme weather tell us about climate change? Well, that the media has been lying to you, and that we're fat and lazy and we just simply put on the air conditioner. You know, want to know why extreme weather keeps maxing out the grid? Because we've been kept inside for two years and we're just developing a sick, fat population in the world. It's actually disgusting. I'm sick of it. And we could do with a population reduction, in my opinion. What say you? Mount Rapehu, status update. New heating phase starts at the Crater Lake. Tawai'e Moa. I don't even know if I said that right, but another heating phase has started at Mount Rapehu. Over the last three months, the temperature of the Crater Lake has cooled from 41C to 20C, but the turnaround of the lake temperature in early July has followed two small volcanic earthquakes and has been accompanied by a higher level of volcanic tremor over the weekend, as is often the case at the start of a heating episode. The volcanic alert level at Rapehu remains at level one. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Camp Chakta is rocking. Hello. And we have some frack quakes right near home here in Capulin, New Mexico, where there are more frack wells than anywhere in North America per square mile. There's your update, and it's disgusting. 500,000. That's a half a million residents to evacuate if the violent eruption occurs at Tal Volcano. Now, we just got our new computer, and there's no way to set up the webcam yet, but we do have the computer cam. It's like a scam, and so we'll try to keep you occupied with that for a second. How the heck are you? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance, and we've been working for 48 hours to fix the problem. The only problem is we haven't fixed it. We've got a lot of our passwords back and a lot of things reloaded, but we're still working on it, so... Give us a few days, and at, at some point, we'll get Starlink. Oh, and it will be fantastic. Trust me. National Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council, the NDRRMC, Executive Director Ricardo Halad, on Saturday said they are preparing for the evacuation of a half a million people in case of a violent eruption occurring at Tal Volcano in Indonesia. 
based on risk assessments, kung salak nak mikmunong na violent eruption si target, and then it goes into a different language here. <laughs> Hello. Apart from that, they're also preparing for the effects of possible emissions of poisonous gas, which could literally kill a lot of people quickly. So heads up there in Tal Worldwide Volcano News Update. Tal has been quiet for days, thank God. Southern Kaya to 24,000 feet. Cinnabon puffing, passing. Sangay, Liwo, Tolo. Southern Kaya, Biko, Swanosima. And Karimskai. Where is it? There it is. Been puffing around 10,000 feet continuously for days. Nothing significant. Normal activity worldwide. Blank screen. How the highly unusual Death Valley temperatures just got more complicated. Well, because it was way hotter in 1936, and they're adjusting the maths. And Fox News is planning to adjust the maths too. 24-hour weather channel has climate experts worried because a channel like Fox News doesn't use terms like climate change or global warming. And they will report on the facts, which will totally crush the industry. And kudos to Fox News for actually stepping up to the plate and hopefully shutting up. The idiot. Brother, Jenna, I said it. Undersea volcanoes are home to more life than we know, which means there's probably life off planet. Billions of planets with life, in fact. Yet the threats of these castles of biodiversity faces <laughs> face are mounting. Yeah, yes, the undersea volcanoes are all dying because of anthropogenic global stupidity. Now let's talk about Beam Soil Booster restoring vitality to Earth. If you want to buy it, buy it from us at easygrowfood.com. The link will be below. What is Beam? How does Beam work? Well, Dr. Johnson found the ratio between fungi and bacteria in the soil is critical to plant productivity. And you've heard us talk about it for five years on this channel. Permaculture is the solution. It says it under my name on my Facebook channel. What is permaculture? Well, it's a design for living. And one part of it is growing food in abundance. And in order to do that, you need to have the best soil, living soil. Using BEAM, the biologically enhanced agricultural management process, we've developed a fungal-dominate compost, 25 times increase in active soil fungal biomass, and an annual average capture and storage of carbon. So this benefits the global warmists as well as the realists who want to grow food in abundance. And just take a look at the mycorrhizal research here. And it's fantastic. It beam is so easy to use. It's a biological inoculant for your soil and for your seeds. It's not really a compost. It's a biologically stable material that you simply wash the bacteria off of and use in water. It's so simple. We're going to do a video on it. For about 20 bucks, you get a pound of it. You only need a small scoop. You put it in five gallons of water. You filter the water, you spray it on your crops, you spray it on your seeds, and you will have, well, inoculated, bioavailable, amazing mycorrhiza and amazing results. And you'll also sequester carbon if you're growing, let's say, cotton. So stay tuned for the video on beam. And if you want to buy your own beam, you can get as little as one ounce to three pounds. I think it's like 10 bucks. Let's just click on it and see how much it is. And you're going to be supporting the channel if you buy Beam from this link. It is not found. We'll make sure you get you the right link. Let's see if we shop now. Let's shop now. Yes, there it is. Shopping now. Okay, so one ounce of Beam is 12 bucks delivered. Four ounces, 24 bucks delivered. And so on and so forth. So it's that simple. Get one ounce with free shipping. I would recommend four ounces. That's going to give you like 20, 30 gallons of water to spray and inoculate almost up to an acre or more. But we're going to give you details in the video we produce on the product. So stay tuned for the beam video, Soil Booster Restoring Vitality to Earth. Add natural balance and health to create living soils immediately. Not 10 years of, of building up the soils with cow peas and sheet mulching. It happens like that, like a snap. I can't even put it in my ears. Another snap. HappyBirdSeed.com. 
Happybirdseed.com, Colorado grown medicinal seeds at the lowest prices on the planet. I won't say anything else. Click on the link to gather more knowledge. And that's a boom. Well, to knowledge and to being back with a new screen recorder. Um, a lot of the kinks worked out. Not all of them yet. It's taken over 48 hours, hours of powers to get back up to speed. And that's because, well, we love you. We want to keep you informed. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel. Be safe. We love you. That's a boom to knowledge. We'll see you real soon. Da -da -da -da.